Hello, welcome back to my channel and I have another video for you. I will show you kung ano ang laman ng hospital bag ko. Anytime na um, kailangan na pumunta, nakaayos na kami. Ngayon, I am past 32 weeks already. Super excited na ako, ang lapit na. Well, medyo matagal pa. Siyempre, 40 weeks ang cycle. Yung um, talagang full, di ba? 40 weeks. Pero, I was also told na mag ready. This is the bag of my baby. Yes, this is this bag came from Mostella. Nagpadala kasi sila ng, ng care package and may kasamang bag. And I found it na cash sa lahat. So, this is what I'm going to use for my baby. Yes, may separate bag siya. Kasi gusto ko, pag yung daddy kasi yung kasama ko, daddy niya sa room, hindi na siya may hirapan mag hanap ng gamit niya or hindi nakahalo sa akin. So, what I did, pinagay ko yung clothes niya sa ziplock. There, nas naka ziplock siya. So, for three days, I know, I know, madaming laman. Pero kasi nag-check ako, syempre, sa mga nagtatong-tanong din ako. Nag-check ako sa ibang videos, kung ano yung dapat na laman. And gusto ko ready ako. And ayokong kulang kesa, tiba magpanik pa ako na wala pala siya nito. Ganyan. So, para palayas lang naman yung laman niya. Okay, dito yung laman. Kung ano yung laman. Para pag kinuha ng dad, pagdating niya, um, ready na. So, ang laman nito, so... This um, tatlong zip locks. So this is for day one to day three. Meron din dito yung going home clothes niya. This zip lock is from ano? Sun zip. Sun zip, yes, sun zip. And antivirus din siya. Well, yun yung nakalagay dito. So, so ko siya. Day one, here with me. Ang laman niya is meron akong nakalagay na washcloth, cap niya, syempre socks. May socks din siyang separate. Uh, mittens. Yung damit niya. Ang kinuha ko is 3 to 6. Kasi yung 0 to 3, I'm, I'm scared also. Kasi baka masyadong maliit or any, di ba, hindi magkasya. Pero tong 3 to 6, um, sabi nila, magkakasya naman din daw sa newborn. So, yan. 3 to 6, I bought this. And then, meron siyang pants. Cotton lang siya na white para madali. Sabi kasi nila sa hospital, it's easier yung detalye para daw mas madali. These pants na may socks na. Pants ba tawag dito? Basta ito. <laughs> and then may onesie din akong dinala na long sleeve and one sleeve. Yan, may kasama siyang ganyan. And nagsama na rin ako each bag ni baby ng swat. Um, Actually, muslin to. Pero ang tawag ito, swaddle. Pero, I, I read about it na pwede siyang burp cloth. Um, pwede siyang, syempre, yung pangkumot or pantago. Yung pititago, ganyan. So, nag-ready na rin ako. Um, each bag has one. So, may tatlo. So, yan. Kompleto siya ng damit. Just in case na need. So, ziplocks na meron siya, yun yung laman. Going home clothes. Yes, recycle ko lang yung lalagyan kasi sayang naman yung ziplock. Same lang din naman yung laman, pero actually wala na siyang swaddle, yung muslin. Kasi feeling ko magagamit ko pa rin naman yung nandun sa um, ziplocks niya for her clothes. So, meron din washcloth. Nagdala ako nito just in case kasi uwi na siya kasama namin ito. Yung socks niya pero pa shoe type na socks. There. Pero I also brought cute socks pa din, just in case. Pagbago yung isip ko. Mittens, meron din. Sobrang OA. Ang dami ko rin din alam, meron din siyang. And then this one, yung one C na buo. Na may socks na. And sis, look at this. For going home clothes niya. The Little Dancer Big Dreams. Or kung ano ma-feel kung papasod ko sa kanya na may long sleeves there. And, syempre, yung pambaba. Pero, it will all depend din kung ano yung ma-feel ko. <laughs> or, ano yung sasuggest ng doctor na anong pwede niyong suotin pag uwi. Need i-laundry bago nyo dalhin. Okay, i-laundry nyo 
use baby laundry um, soap ang gamit namin ngayon is from Tiny Buds. I also have yung from Cradle. I want to try Tiny Buds first. Uh, meron din ako dito towel that can na may hood pero it can also serve as a blanket. Sabi kasi nila ang baby daw super lamigin. So, so ko lang din safe na meron ako nito just in case. Ito, ito yung receiving blanket na sinasabi or receiving swaddle. I read about this. Sabi nila um magagamit din to pag matutulog na yung baby kasi 'di ba yung gumagalaw sila, nabibigla sila. It's from Halo Sleep Sack Swaddle. So, ganyan siya. Meron siyang velcro dito si baby. And zipper lang siya so easy. Para dito siya ilagay. Kasi gusto ko nakaswaddle siya. I actually got two. Kasi, syempre, hindi natin alam um, nangyari na dumihan or anything. Kasi gusto ko, pag natutulog siya, nakaswaddle pa din siya. I ordered this from tickledbabies.com And if you wanna get, I have a code. Code na win-win. W-I-N-W-Y-N. Lagay nyo lang doon. From Tickle Babies, thank you. So this is from birth to three months, and then six to twelve pounds. So newborn. So wearable blanket, halo, sleep sack, swaddle. So I got this two polka dots, and of course the purple one. I have to ask pa kung ano yung dapat namin dalhin para sa hygiene kit niya. Pero just to be sure, I brought na. Yes, I also recycled. Hi, flattering tops. <laughs> Ganda na lagyan nyo. Naglagay na rin ako ng para sa baby. So, may wipes akong dala. This is from Huggies. Wipes. And then, meron akong powder. This is Tiny Buds there. Rice powder. Talk-free, of course. And then, yung pang pampers niya. Tiny Buds. Tiny Buds. Yes, we love Tiny Buds. So, ito yung changing spray for diaper-sensitive skin, nappy rash, and then, of course, nagdala rin ako. I want to try ko ano ba yung mag-work sa baby ko. Must dala for diapers then. I'm not sure kasi feeling ko I want to take, uh, you know, tuturuan ako magpaligo sa kanya or doon magpapaligo. I have to ask those questions pa. But I still brought uh, must dala products. Um, meron dito yung cleansing milk and cleansing water na no rinse. So, siguro pag na na burp siya or lungad tama ba lungad I think I can use this also and then syempre uh, soothing chest rub for the babies pwede siya pang newborn so yun lang ang dinala kong hygiene kit for my baby yung cotton buds and stuff I think uh, meron naman sa hospital nun but feeling ko last minute magdadala pa din ako lang actually ang laman ng bag ng aming baby konti lang pero nakaayos na siya sabi ko it's in a ziplock so easier for the dad kasi syempre pag um, I'm sleeping or anything madali na lang niyang hanapin yung clothes ng baby namin nakita ko naman sa inyo ang aking hospital bag na medyo nagulat ako akala ko kasha kasi yung gamit namin ni baby sa isang maliit maliit na maliit pero actually hindi pala well, let me sneak peek there. It's here. It's a small maleta. Ang laman nito, first of all, towels, face towels. Beam po. Actually, beam po. You know, beam po. Just in case. Um, Siyempre, pag napawisan or anything, gusto ko rin kasi may hawak akong beam po. Meron akong tatlong beam po. Um, hygiene kit. So, hygiene kit ko. Yes, may ano ko yan eh. May name. WM. As you can see. Um, ang hygiene kit, ang laman dyan. Of course, the essentials. Toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, conditioner, facial wash, everything. I also have this. Um, bath and body oil. Meron din ako nyan. Pang gargle. The usual. And of course, petroleum jelly for my lips. Makeup remover. <laughs> Meron din. So, the usual. Uh, wipes for me. For me. Kasi gusto ko talaga, kahit may wipes na ako sa bag ko, gusto ko may wipes pa rin ako dito sa, sa hospital bag ko. And then, Buds and Blooms na um, for my belly, moisturizing cream, belly smooth. Ito pa kasi nalalagay. Siyempre, may deodorant ako. Meron din akong cologne. Bio oil and mustala. That's what I use for my tummy and for my bum. So, stretch marks. And if it's itchy, yan. Maternity bras. Yung madali for breastfeeding friendly siya. So, 
ganito lang siya guys. Um, Nakaklip lang and then pag kailangan mag breastfeed, tadaan! Ganun. This is from Mama Way. I super love them. Sobrang comfortable ng tela. Sorry, bagong laundry. Bango. This is all from Mama Way. There. Gusto ko kasi comfortable yung tela sa skin. Ayoko yung mainit o kaya makate. Ayan. Easy lang to put din naman. Same. It's very um, breastfeeding friendly. So, nakaganyan. Tim! This is also from Mama Way. My binder. Optional daw to, pero I still got it. Siyempre, you don't know if CS or normal, pero it's good na yun na naka-binder daw. Um, nakita ko sa YouTube and all. I forgot what it's called, pero kasi mahirap daw mag-wash ng, you know, the area. And ito daw, ang pinaka-comfortable way pag sensitive na masyado or mas sakit. The bottle. Something pee bottle. So, ganyan siya. And then, para lang siyang, parang portable bidet, kumbaga. Yan. Pag nahihirapan, di ba, gaganon mo na lang pag gusto niya mag-wash. So, I got this from, um, I think, Shopee or Lazada. So, I got this there. Just in case, may lalagyan din siya. Pang-wash ng, you know, uh, maternity pads. Kasi sabi nila, kailangan daw talaga nito. Kasi you'll never know. And baka, syempre, yung um, baka may blood pa or anything. Extra protection during the days following childbirth. So, this is seven pads. I think you can bring more. Pero this one, dala ko na isang, isang pack. Wala pa akong button down na um, pajama. But, hindi kasi, I don't know why I, don't, I didn't buy. But feeling ko kasi I'm gonna be more comfortable with tops like this na super loose lang na comfortable, masarap yung tela. This is from Flattering Tops. I love that shop. And easy na rin siya. Kunyari, kailangan mo mag-breastfeed. Bababa mo lang to. Or dito. Kasi nakabra ka naman. It's medyo mahaba din siya. So, mag-shorts ka. So, this is what I got. This is my clothes. And pajamas na rin siya. And then, super loose shorts. This is shorts. Mga shorts na loose lang. Pang bahay. Pang recovery. ba? Kasi, hindi natin alam kung ano ang mangyayari. So, I kind of, I have three, three sets, and then meron akong cycling shorts na medyo loose din. This is my going home outfit, also from Flattering Tops, look. It's a dress, it's a long t-shirt dress, the very, very comfortable. I like loose clothes kasi, guys, it makes me so comfortable. Tsaka, hindi, feeling ko hindi na masakit sa chan. Pag, syempre, um, it's either ma CS or ma normal, hindi masakit sa chan. Magso shorts na lang ako, easy. Diba? Um, yung underwear score are all parang super stretchable. And maganda rin yung tela. Don't know if I'm going to be CS or normal. But sana, sana talaga normal delivery ako. I have slippers here. Tatlong pair ng socks. Just in case malamig. Hospital slippers. Just in case. Manipis lang naman siya. So nagdala na rin ako. Ang pinakamarami kong laman sa bag is the breastfeeding stuff. The hospital kasi, um, they're advocate of breastfeeding, of course. And, uh, pwede naman daw magdala ng mga stuff for that. But, I know, it's in a ziplock again. It's from Sunzip. I brought lang mga kailangan for the boobies. This is the breast pads. The comfy feel breast pads. May dala ko niyan. Yung breast pads sila. Siyempre, pag nagli-leak o oh, may t-shirt, di ba? Yung sa t-shirt gusto mo. Sure ka. So, may dala akong breast pads. This is from Buds and Blooms naman. Malunggay capsule. Sana sure tayo na magka-milk. Sana talaga magka-milk. Meron din ako yung mega malunggay from V Pharma. I also have that. I haven't um, started drinking it yet. Ang iniinom ko ngayon, pababa lang siya 20 calories and then 5 grams lang yung sugar niya. So, I have to watch my sugar. So, at least ito, may nakukuha na din akong medyo matamis and then healthy pa siya. V-drink from Malunggay. Uh, Malunggay ju juice siya. If I'm not mistaken, this is from Lan Lancino. Lancino. Yung nipple shield. Meron din akong isang nipple shield dito. Of course, this is from Avent. Nipple shield. Siyempre, um, Kasi gusto ko lang sure ako, baka mamaya masakit or anything. May dala rin akong nipple shield. Nipple cream. 
So this nipple cream is from Pigeon. And this one, Lassino. Lassino. Meron din ako from Pods and Blooms yung parang breastfeeding and pump lubrication oil. Kasi sabi nila sa boobs daw, minsan, di ba, um, masakit. And then, medyo kailangan ng tulong ng heat pa. Yung pack ba for the boobs. So, this one is from Buds and Blooms also. It's called the Breastfeeding Relief Donut. So, meron na niyan. Easy lang. Um, lalagay nyo lang siya. You can use it before nursing or after nursing. Pag before, syempre medyo uh, mainit. So, pwede siyang i-microwave. Saklit lang naman. Medium lang naman, di ba? Uh, and then, sa nursing, pwede naman, after naman, pwede nyo siyang ilagay sa freezer after nursing. I also have the one from Avent. Yes. It's the Breast Care Thermo Pad. So, ganito siya. Yan. And then, this one, um, what you do, pwede siyang warm use, pwede siyang cold use. And then, ilalagay nyo lang siya sa loob pag okay na. Sa lalagyan niya na parang cloth. And then, you put it on your boobies. So, ang okay dito is, dalawa kasi siya. So, yung isa, pwede nyo nang ilagay sa ref. Yung isa naman, pwedeng heat pack nyo. So, kung gusto nyo, dalawa na siya. Diba? Abang nag rest kayo. Depends. So, meron kasi akong tatlo. So, at least, meron akong um, options na nakaiwan na doon or kailangan agad. And then, um, I asked permission din kasi kung pwede akong magdala ng um, sarili kong breast pump just in case kailangan. Pinayagan naman ako. So, I have the one from the manual breast pump from Avent. Manual breast pump. My hospital kasi is an advocate for um, breastfeeding. Pero syempre, I just want to be sure then baka mamaya mahirapan ako or anything. Baka um, kailangan ibang way, kailangan ng bottle. I will also bring um, extra bottles for my baby. This is also from Avent. Yes, may panglinis na and all. Philips Avent. It's their uh, newborn kit. Starter gift, of course, merong 125 ml and 260 ml. Pero, I'll bring this small one. Ito, I think you can put it here na straight then sa bottle niya. So, there's two different sizes for the baby bottles. There. So, I'm excited to bring that. The lalagyan ng breast milk. Ito pala, pwedeng ilagay dito. Usable siya. So, medyo marami siyang laman inside there. So this is the cup for the breast milk or breast milk securely. So, lalagyan ng breast milk storage cup na reusable. So, sabi ko nga, pwede mag breast, breast pump, di ba? So, pag nagpapadede ako sa kabila, kailangan ko na mag breast pump sa kabila. Um, ito yung kagamitin ko. Just to be sure. So, may breast pump adapter. Pwede siyang write on, you can write on the cup or on the lid. And of course, Leak proof din siya. Pwede rin siyang i-stack if you want. Uh, pwede siyang for the fridge, freezer, sterilized safe, bottle warmer safe, and dishwasher safe. So, pwede ganito rin ang mangyari. So, yan yung breast pump. Yung ma manual breast pump ko siya. There. So, pwede ko siyang ilagay dito. So, habang um, wala ako. Kunyari, um, tapos na mag-feed si baby and masakit na yung boobs ko and kailangan na talagang Busog pa si baby, kailangan na talaga siguro mag-pump. I can use this, the manual breast pump. Pag nasa house na ako, ito yung gagamitin ko. I just wanna show you guys. Meron akong electric, double electric breast pump. It's also from Philips Avon. I think I will use this when I'm at home already. Pag gusto ko na mag-breast pump na mas madali. So I won't bring that in the hospital, but it will be ready at home. I also, I think I got this from uh, V Pharma. Kung gusto ko ng tea, hindi nila ko na rin to. Extract powder for breastfeeding mom, sweet leaf. So, brought, um, parang breastfeeding, um, bags. Marami akong gamit dito for breastfeeding talaga. Konti lang yung gamit ko, per se. Iisipin ko pa kung paano ko siya i-reduce kasi gusto ko, um, medyo magaan. Pero I don't think it's gonna happen. So, ito yung sinasabi ko, guys, na, um, breast milk bag. May dala din ako. This is from Sun Mom. Yan. Just in case kailangan. Ito yung isa sa pinaka-importante na nakikita ko online na nababasa ko. 
and sa mga um, blogs, sa mga posts, even sa app na ginagamit ko. Philips Avent app din yung gamit ko, guys. Yung Pregnancy Plus, yun yung na tulong sa akin sa mga sa journey na to. This is my folder. My documents folder. So, nakaayos dito lahat. Ay, this, nandito yung birth plan ko. So, yung birth plan nyo, yes, I want to be organized. Lalo na ibibigay ko to sa daddy niya kasi pag may tanong and I'm recovering or syempre pagod ako or something, siya yung tinanong. Hindi na siya may hirapan to find information needed na um, lahat ng tanong nandito na pwede nang masagot niya. Kung baga kodigo. Niya. And syempre ako, kung may nakalimutan ako, I'll just show this to them para lang, sure. So, bird method mo, sinong allowed sa birthing room, sinong um, allowed to visit. Basta, mga requests mo kung anong gusto mo, ilagay nyo na dyan. And then, I have, of course, mother's information kasi syempre hindi ako makakapag-fill up ng forms agad-agad. Feeling ko lang. So, my partner, kung kailangan niya, name, age, birthday, blood type, address, lagay nyo na rin yung mga TIN number nyo, SSS number, PhilHealth number. Um, Siyempre, tatanungin din, di ba lagi tayo sa hospital, tinatanong kung kailan yung last menstrual period, uh, expected date of delivery, lahat yan, medical insurance nyo ba, kung meron kayo, sino yung OB nyo, sino yung um, pedya nyo, medical history, kasi di ba yan yung mga fill up at each na check other allergies, previous surgeries. So, nandyan, pregnancy tests done, and then, kung ano yung mga vitamins na tinitake nyo during your pregnancy. There's medical history nyo, your father's medical history, of course, your blood type, and their blood type. Meron din akong person in case of emergency na notification. You also need your doctor's admission slip. Doctor's admission slip, bibigay, nila, bibigay ng OB yan sa inyo. So, I think, just talk to your OB kung kailan niya ibibigay. Um, gusto ko lang nandito siya para ilalagay na lang dyan just in case, di ba? Naka-ready na. And then, um, also have your prescription. So, lahat na binigay ng OB nyo sa inyo, mga doctors nyo, during your pregnancy, i-print nyo na, screenshot nyo na, i-print nyo na para lang din, alam din ng doctors nyo kung ano yung na-take nyo during pregnancy, di ba? So, ako, like, that, nandito na, naka, nakalagay lahat dyan. So, lahat ng tinake ko, nandyan. So, print ko. Pero, linagay ko rin yun sa mother's information. Another one is IDs and photocopy ng IDs nyo. Meron akong TIN ID, driver's license, and my passport. Nilagay ko na rin dyan. And then, um, for the father, yung daddy ng baby nyo, lagay nyo na din doon yung ID niya, just to be sure. And then, next is lab tests. Your previous lab tests na tinake nyo, lagay nyo na rin lahat dyan. Doesn't matter kung matagal na or something. Basta during your pregnancy, kung ano yung tinake nyo. And then, I got this copy um, online lang. Certificate of live birth. So, dun yun na ilagay. Kung baga, parang draft nyo ba? Bago nyo ilagay sa birth certificate ng baby nyo. So, it's called the Certificate of live birth. So, I got this online. There. So, I have two copies na linagay ko dyan. You can fill up one already. Lagay nyo na yung informations nyo para pag in case lang, pwede nyo rin inibigay or may kokopyahan kayo ng gusto nyong ilagay doon. I also have my PhilHealth forms. It's here. Nakaayos yan. And SSS forms. Ready lang ako kasi just in case kailangan ko magbigay sa doctors kung ano yung need for my reimbursement or kung ano yung pwedeng kunin. Ha? Ready na lahat dyan. So again, this is your files. This is very important also. Dapat naka fix na yan. Sama yan sa personal bag nyo or ibigay nyo sa partner nyo. Ito maleta. Hindi siya napakita kanina kasi nasa taas siya ng table. So, yan. It's just a small maleta. Siyempre, para easy. May parang kilahan siyang ganun. So, there. The breast feeding um, stuff. The pads. Yan. The med. So, medyo compact lang talaga siya. And then, I forgot to show you guys this one. Yes, may dala rin kaming extra diaper. I know sa um, hospital may may bibigay sila, pero we also want to bring just to be sure. And then, sana hiyang si baby kasi alam ko may mga babies na naghihi, naghahanap ng 
para mahiyang sa different types of um, diaper. So, we also brought one. It's from Pampers. Ayan siya. Maliit lang din siya. Just in case, di ba? But, dalagay ko na lang to sa bag nung dati. Is this one. Ay, hindi ko lang siya napakita. Pero, magdadala rin ako ng pillow. Pero, syempre, the maternity support and nursing pillow. So, for breastfeeding. For me also. Para... Um, comfortable. This is also from Mama Way. Yes, I love Mama Way. Medical grade din siya. So, this is going to be my pillow. Forgot to mention this. I also have these disposable underwear from Mama Way. So, easy lang din talaga siya. Just in case, diba? We don't know kung malakas yung blood or anything. I think this one is really going to be useful. So, that is my hospital bag again please laundry your baby's clothes and your clothes before going to the hospital and i using it again in advance um yan ang laman ng aking hospital bags bali tatlo ang maging hospital bags so hindi alam di ko alam kung paano dadali ng um partner ko yan pero will pag malapit na yung due date ko we will put it inside the car already just to be sure because we want everything to go smoothly and sterilize the stuff you need for your breastfeeding if you're going to bring extra bottles. Sterilize yun na rin siya. I have a bottle sterilizer. It's a Philips Avent also. Andos <laughs> sa kabilang room so hindi ko mapapakita. Naka-ready na rin siya doon. So, sana may natutunan kayo kahit pa paano sa video na to. And I'll recheck kung ano pa ba kailangan ko. Ano ba yung kailangan bawasan ko. If you guys have any comments regarding that or any tips for me, please do not hesitate to write on the comments below. I re would really want some advice from mommies kung ano yung dinala nila. And if you could share me some links also, I would love that. Anyway, that is my video for today. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you, thank you for watching. And please do share, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys! Mwah.